today's devotion comes from the book, I Am, 40 Reasons to Trust God. The name of God we will be looking at today is El Shaddai, God All-Powerful. God can do anything, and He keeps all His promises. Nothing is too difficult for Him. Today's title is Promises for Abraham. Genesis 17, 1. I am God all-powerful. Obey me and do what is right. Genesis 17, 1. Abraham, God said, I want you to leave the town where you live and go to a land I will show you. I will bless you and make you great, so all the people on earth will be blessed through you. Let's pack up, Abraham told his servants and Sarah, his wife. We need our bedrolls, tents, and cooking pots, our water jugs, and lanterns. It's time for us to leave this place and go where God wants us to go. Yes, said Sarah. But where is that? God will show us, Abraham said. And God did. God led Abraham and Sarah to the land of Canaan. I will give this land to your family someday, God said. But I don't have any children, Abraham said. You will have a son, God said. And you will have a big family. Look up at the stars. Can you count them all? No, there are too many to count. That is how big your family will be, and I will give your family all this land. Abraham believed what God said, so he waited and waited and waited. When Abraham was 99 years old and Sarah was 90, God spoke to Abraham again. I am God all-powerful, he said. I can do anything. I will bless you and give you a big family, and I will give your family all the land of Canaan. And Sarah will have a baby boy. Abraham laughed. He and Sarah were much too old to have a baby now. It will happen about this time next year, God told Abraham. And Abraham believed what God said. So he waited again. Three visitors came to see Abraham one day as he sat outside of his tent under a big oak tree. Two of the visitors were angels and one was the Lord. Abraham hurried to have a meal fixed for them, and while they ate, he stood under the tree and waited. Sarah watched and waited inside of the tent. Sarah will have a son by this time next year, the Lord told Abraham. This time Sarah was the one who laughed. I'm too old to have a baby, she said to herself. But God is God all-powerful, and nothing is too hard for him. Abraham and Sarah did have a baby boy just as God had said they would. They named him Isaac. He was the beginning of the very big family God had promised to Abraham, a family that would live in the land of Canaan and bless all the people of the world. Have you ever tried hard to do something, but you didn't have the power to do it? Maybe you wanted to win a race but your legs just wouldn't go any faster and someone crossed the finish line before you? Maybe you wanted to hit a home run, but you couldn't hit the ball over the fence? Some things need power to make them happen. Well, anyone can make a promise, but people don't always have the power to keep a promise, to do what they say they will do. Maybe your mom promised to take you swimming, but a big thunderstorm kept her from keeping her promise. Your mom doesn't have the power to stop a storm. Only God, all-powerful, always keeps his promises, because he has the power to do it, because he is God. God never gets tired. Psalm 121, verses 3 and 4 says, The one who watches over you never slumbers or sleeps. Nothing is too hard for him, and no one else has power like God's power. Lord, there was no one like you, for you are a great and your name is full of power. 
Jeremiah 10, 6. Dear God, I feel safe because you are strong and full of power, and you always keep your promises. Thank you, God. Amen. Many years later, Jesus was born into Abraham's big family. You can read about that in Matthew chapter 1. And one way God kept his promise to Abraham was by sending Jesus. You can find the story of Jesus' birth in Luke chapter 2. And what happened next? Abraham and Sarah's son Isaac, he married Rebekah, and they had twin sons, Esau and Jacob. And when the boys grew up, Jacob went on a long journey. 